proprietary code without protection, also called PCROP. And frankly speaking, I think I will use this acronym until the end of this presentation. So this feature is a memory error in flash that is defined in execute only mode. That means the CPU can jump in this area to execute code but can't read or write it. This region can be read even thanks to the debugging link. And it's configured thanks option by because it's a static protection. So by sector for the F4, F7, L0, L1 family, by area for the L4, H7, G0, G4, and WB. To remove the PC ROP, you need to have two conditions. The first one, you should have one option byte, which name is PCROP underscore ADP option bit, that should be set. Then you should perform a RDP1 to RDP0 regression. I describe more this mechanism in the RDP chapter, but just to sum up, if you do such kind of transition, there is a mass error of all the flash. And if the PCROP underscore RDP is set, then the PCROP region will be removed also. If you do this regression of RDP level without setting the PCROP RDP, then it will do a mass error without altering the PCROP region. So the content is still there. The constraints linked to this region, it's execute only. So you have to compile to remove all data access from the code of this portion of code. So there is GCC option, Kale option, and AI option for sure. So you have to modify your scatter file to put in, in place only this read-only uh, region in the good area of the flash. Not so easy, there is some application not to do that. And the on zone that I propose just after the theory, we will experiment this. Okay, just to sum up what happened. On the flash, we've got our firmware IP code. I will say some variable firmware we want to protect, okay? So it has been compiled just to remove all data access and then we protect it thanks to PC wrap. In the SRAM, I just show you that this firmware will need to use some SRAM for the volatile data and unfortunately is not protected by the PC wrap, or it can be. So imagine a malicious firmware he can't read or write this firmware IP. So he can't try to get the bits and try to unassemble it. He can't even read or access to it. But he can launch it. And if he launches it, there will be some volatile data that will be present in the SRAM. And the malicious firmware could see them. It's something to have in mind when you develop. So the benefit of this mechanism, Firmware IP protection, for sure, you can con access to it even from the core or the debugging link. Mutual protection, if you've got different regions of PC WAP and you can have different firmware which are just behind the, uh, each one, but which cannot, I would say, uh, access the content. It's an interesting feature in ADP level zero. ADP level zero, that means there is no security activated mainly, or flash access is for free only for the PC wrap region. So you can deliver a firmware to collaborators and it's completely high by PC wrap. Code integrity can be modified. The weakness of this mechanism, the volatile data that are not protected, and also the fact that you have to do some specific compilation, not so easy sometimes. The first tips, you've got the possibility to hide some data in the PC wrap region. In fact, we will use some assembly code because with the assembler, you can generate some value in registers without any data access. So I just put here an example. If you are executing such kind of code, you will have in the R1 directly the value 5 f 4 d 45 f without any data access. So for a security point of view, imagine you have specific key value. You just coding the value with this assembling code and put it behind PC wrap. After, it can only be executed and then you get for sure the value somewhere in the registers. So you have to take care where you put it, but it's a way to, I will say, to store some secret value inside the flash. Some specificity. On the LD row, there is a mutual exclusion with a WRP protection. That means if you activated WRP, you can't activate it PC wrap and Symmetrically, if you have PC wrap, you can use write protection. On the F4, it's not available on the ZOLF one, and we've got also the mutual exclusion with WRP protection for the others. For the F7, take care, it's not available on the F74, F75, F76, and F77. Here you've got the sum up of uh, which family have the capability of the flash PC wrap, 
And now I propose to switch to on zone. Just before, sorry, the reference here, if you are interested to configure PCWAP, I really advise to download this Xcube PCWAP. So it's a code example with uh, some practical on microcontroller F4, F7, and L4. And there is a three associated application notes which explain how to compile uh, and how to modify scatter files. Now we switch to the answer.